Hi everyone, it's Roger here from whatsondisneyplus.com A quick news update for you guys on Daredevil coming back to the MCU. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. If you're like me and you've been wanting Daredevil to return to the MCU after those fantastic Netflix series, well, we've kind of got some good news. According to Murphy's Multiverse, we're going to be seeing Charlie Cox return for the upcoming third Spider-Man movie, which is currently being filmed at the minute. And this deal has apparently been in place for a number of months. And we're going to see him return as Matt Murdock, and he's going to be representing Peter Parker at some point. Um, we saw actually at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home where Peter Parker had been revealed to be Spider-Man. So obviously something's going on there. Now, the thing is that's interesting with this one is the whole Netflix deal um, that kind of expired at the end of November. They basically, Netflix um, kind of had like this two year hold over the character in terms of being on screen. So once that had finished, Marvel can do what they want for it. It doesn't necessarily mean those TV series are going to be leaving Netflix anytime soon because they were created by them, but now it just means Marvel can do stuff with the character. But that's not all, because according to the YouTuber Grace Randolph, she is reporting that apparently he's also in talks to appear in the upcoming She-Hulk Disney Plus series, again as Matt Murdock, um, because he's a lawyer and that could kind of be quite interesting. Maybe you've got him and then you've got Jennifer Walters, then either maybe in a court scene or something like that. And they kind of connect them all up. Apparently there have also been consideration about the idea of using Jennifer Walters in Spider-Man 3. However, they felt that it was much stronger to have Matt Murdock in there, which I think makes a lot more sense because of the comic books. I think this all sounds great of kind of intertwining them all. And we are going to see this thing with the Disney Plus series. We are going to see them intertwining with the movies just as much as the other way around. Some of that we haven't really seen so much with um, the Netflix series. I'm really hoping we get some more Daredevil. They might have to tone it down if they're going to be bringing a series to Disney Plus. I'm really hoping they announce something at... Um, first day's Investor Day regarding a new Daredevil series. They're going to have to slightly, like I said, tone it down a little bit for Disney+. Plus. They could put it on Hulu as well, but I think it would make a lot more sense. I love Daredevil. been a big fan of his um, since I was a kid. I've always uh, really liked Daredevil as a character. So I'm really excited to see this and also just the integration with things like She-Hulk and stuff. But let me know in the comments below if you would like to see Daredevil back on our screens. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships and I'll just see you guys in another video. Laters.